and Tandy were passing the time in the jungle. Hey, Timu, chirped Tandy. How about we play the love-hate game? I'll go first. I love... Worm shakes. Now your turn. What do you love? But Timu was grumpy and he didn't want to play. How about we start with hate, he growled. I hate the colour of your feathers. They're red and my grandpa says that birds with red feathers are stupid. Tandy felt very hurt. If you're so smart, Timu, then why are you talking such hogwash, she snapped. I'll bet you three worm shakes that your hero, Nelson Mandela, would never agree with your horrible hate speech. I bet you he will, cried Timu. And so the bet was on. Eager to win, Timo and Tandy turned the pages of the book. There they found Nelson Mandela. They fluttered around him, Timo brushing up against his cheek and Tandy playing in the colours of his T-shirt. Nelson Mandela spoke. No one is born hating another person because of the colour of his skin or his background or his religion. People must learn to hate. And if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. For love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. Tandy knew at once that she had won the bet. Wise words, wise words, she said. I like that, Nelson. I guess that means that my grandpa is wrong, mumbled Timu. I hurt your feelings, Tandy. I owe you a big apology. Tandy agreed. Don't worry, she said. It happens to the best of us, especially when we have daft grandpas. Love comes more naturally than hate. So let's roll with that. She opened her wings and gave Timo a big hug. Then she whispered deep into his ear, You owe me three worm shakes.